first, let's kick it off with the announcement of our second Ooh. pick for the Chicago Today <laughs> Band Book Club presented by the American Library Association. Here with the big reveal and big time book street cred <laughs> is ALA Executive Director Tracy D. Hall. Hi. Tracy, Hi. how yes. are you? Oh, Happy we love you. Back you. with us. We yeah. got we got such a response from All Boys Aren't Blue, yes. and people read along with us. You read along with us. What was it like on your end? Oh, we heard from readers all over the country. First of all, they said thank you for introducing this book, and they love the story. And almost every reader found something they could relate to. That's wonderful. And we have an interview with George. We posted that on our Instagram. Yes. So yes. if you're still reading, check that out. Learn more. Yes. Okay. It's what's, time for the next book. What's the next book? Ooh, <laughs> <laughs> you say it, Tracy, though. Yes. The House on Mango Street by Sandra Cisneros. And, and it's important to note Sandra Cisneros is from Chicago. Absolutely, Humboldt Park. Yeah. In fact, Mango Street is a fictionalized name for Campbell Avenue, where she grew up. Wow. So not only do you get a chance to hear about this coming-of-age story of the young Esperanza Cordero, who really is a stand-in for Sandra Cisneros, you get a chance to see the literary landscape that was Humboldt Park in those times. How wonderful. And yes. so this is a coming of age story, much like the book that we just read. Yes. But it's important to note because most books like this are the ones that get banned. Absolutely. The Buildings Roman novel, right? Mm -hmm. Because it's dealing with coming of age and dealing with a lot of things around identity. In this particular case, we have some domestic violence, sexual harassment, and those are some of the reasons why this book was banned. But it's also been translated multiple times, winner of many, many book awards, and considered to be canonical when it comes to Chicano Ooh, literature. Canonical. I don't even know what that means. Canonical. Canonical. Like the, canon, like the, the best canon, of the best. The best canonical. Of the best. <laughs> when you read as much as Tracy, I you know. know. You, you know words. I That's know. what Tracy does. <laughs> but I remember words. reading this book in high school, yes. and I can't wait to revisit it. Are there things you think I'll pick up on as an adult that maybe, you know, I skimmed over when I was in high school? Yeah, absolutely. And one of the things that we're thinking about when it comes to book clubs is that they really are about themes, right? That's what makes them fun. So we're reading coming-of-age novels right now, and then we'll move on. But I think what we'll relate to here is that we're how do you become a young artist? And also, if you're coming from a working class family, how do you find the riches around you? Maybe your family doesn't have the income, but how do you make your life rich? And that's exactly what she does. Oh, I can't wait to revisit it. How do you see us diving deeper into this book as people who actually live in Chicago? Well, first of all, definitely visit Humboldt Park. And there are many collectives. There are great places to eat, but there's also the Honeycomb Network right on Division Street, which is run by a Latina collective. And there's all about healing, therapy, there's a wow. botanica, there's everything, a bookstore even. So definitely, if you want to know more about the House on Mango Street, you want to know more about Humble Park, there's many opportunities to just dive in. Just go down Division Street and have a great time.